My man is cheating on me with a woman. If I never leave my man, right now, you're fighting for a position that I'm not going to give up. And guess what? If I give it up, you're going to be my position. And guess who's coming next? The next. The next. Right. Or me. Myself. You be the main girl. <laughs> so is it worth it? Now you got an easier, and now you got an easier job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like I'm that a lot. Same. I'm still gonna get the same treatment, and I'm still gonna get the same benefits. But now you're the one home you're suffering, crying. Hard. Yeah, and you licking gooch now. Now you added another component to the relationship. <laughs> now you lick and doing all this extra. You didn't Yo, have to do that, but now you added another component. Now he got a new fetish, and now the next gotta do some new. Yeah, you can't take him. That's a fact. You can have him for the moment. You might get a purse, some shoes. Mm -hmm. But right, what you're yeah. really doing is lowering yourself because at the end of the day, he's not going to leave me for you. Mm -hmm. He's not. Because if he was... See, that's not true. No, it is. No, no, no. no it is. is. Let me tell you why. Saying, wait, wait. So no, men no, gonna I'm cheat? You. I'm saying for y'all, yes, that is so true. Remember when I <laughs> said that for you? Yes. But we're not talking every other girl? No, that's not. Like, but if look, that man leaves... Think about how many sixes. Off, right. Look, a man I don't think it matters. What? Most of the time... If you're cheating, that means that you're not going to leave your woman for that other woman. Because you would have left. Because you would have left her first. But and you would have got with her you. first. And I mean, next. Wait, hold on. I Although I do agree. Because, listen, let me, let's not... I ain't going to lie. It happens a lot. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but on the flip side, another girl can take your man, right? And, and especially... See, this is when I really think cheating is really cheating. When you start stepping she out, you're always cheating. Nah, nah, nah. It's See, like, this part you should is not know. Cheating. So let me, from Rico's perspective, okay, from my perspective, from, from my, for clarity, from my, from my, from Rico's perspective, um, oh. if you've been doing what you've been doing before your relationship, and you get in a relationship, and you still doing what you're doing, that's just who you are. Now, if I step outside of my relationship because my relationship is lacking something, mm. that's really cheating. Yeah. So, like, maybe you're not affectionate to me, or maybe you're not catering to me, or maybe you're just not, you know, a partner that I typically would have. Right. Now I'm stepping out because I'm seeking what's lacking. That's real cheating in my eyes. And so that now, position, in that situation... Wait, hold on, let me, let me finish there. <laughs> so, then, so now what happens is, if, I, if I'm cheating with that in mind, Mm -hmm. Now that next girl is giving me everything that my current girl is lacking, plus whatever she was bringing, those are the ones that can take the man. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, yo, you're doing more, and you're doing the same. Right. So I'm not losing. If anything, I'm gaining. And don't let her look better. That's what I'm saying. Don't let her. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They really do. So now you that left your count. main girl, right, for yeah. this other girl that's giving you all of this. Mm -hmm. When you get tired of her... You gonna leave her for the next one too? It depends on how much you give it. You know, you <laughs> never. Thank you. Y'all never, Good. Y'all never happy. Y'all never up. get satisfied. So. Listen, you never, you never quit so, your so job new, without Kaylee. getting hired somewhere else, and that's just. I know these D G Z like, dudes be doing something else. Huh? Like this job right. with, yeah. with no other source of income. With no, none. None whatsoever, and then come back crying for. They're also twenty two. Right. <laughs> when you hit no, no, thirty, it's gonna be no, way no. different. Let me tell you something about men in their thirties. They think that they twenty, not and they're us. not. not and us. reality is that <laughs> us women, you know, I don't know if you noticed that when a woman hits their thirties, we're most likely to be single because we don't want to settle for y'all. We don't. We really don't. Yeah. We don't the red it. flags, we see them and we be like, you gotta go. But y'all don't got Sorry. no red flags? We yeah. have, we have not what she said. I'm just making sure though. No, we I have red Thank you, London. I appreciate yeah. it. But look, in my time, go ahead, I will see the red flags and be like, he'll change. He yeah. just need time. He I can change him. Up. <laughs> Listen, if you're 30 and you're still doing shit that you was doing in your 20s yeah. as a man, sorry, you're not changing. This is who you are and this is how you're gonna be for the rest of your fucking life. And I don't want no parts. I definitely Amen. think that's a two-way street, you right, know. Right, right. That's why I'm quiet I because no, I ain't no, know. No, you're right. And you're right. You're right. I've been fighting for a lot of years. It's not specific to women. And you yeah. know, I say this all the time. When the shit applies to equally both, both ways, it does. It's sound advice. It's sound. But the sound difference is, but it's not fair. I'm gonna tell you why it's not fair. Men and fair. women are becoming the same. Most it's men, and, and we said this over here, and, and I, at this point, a lot of people have been taking our stats and on every podcast. So I will just reiterate it for a thousand times. But we are the innovators of this shit. Wait, they, wait, wait, they be lying on some shit. They be like, yeah. First of all, it's 69% of women who initiate divorces. I didn't heard 85%. What the fuck you got 85% at? Because they be doing it for clickbait. We do it for the real, real. But Agreed. I'll say like this. Most men, most men, mm -hmm. and I'm not even going to say it's that. I'm just going to say, I'm going to keep it general. <laughs> most men don't really get financially stable until they're in their 30s. That's true. Right? Okay. And so sometimes now, 40s and sometimes 50s. It's but very now, true. But now, the so this is what I'm saying. Is, yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's not fair because it's like, 
yo, as a woman, you don't have to be financially stable in your 20s to live a good life. That's a no, fact. you don't. But as a man, mm -hmm. you got to be financially stable at whatever age to live a good yeah. life. So now he's finally at that point, or he's becoming at that point. So now he's 31 and 32, and you saying he thinks he's in his 20s. Nah, he's not thinking that he's in his 20s. He's just finally doing everything that he wanted to do mm -hmm. in his 20s because he it's feasible for him. So I think it's important to be patient with some men in their no. early 30s. So a lot of men come into their <laughs> their financial freedom in their late mm -hmm. 30s sometimes. It depends on what you what it is that you're into. Some people don't even come into it. So I get it. Some uh, people that's, hey a, man. that's a fact. Exactly. So when you do finally, okay, so I know someone who's an orthopedic surgeon, right? Mm, the best type. So this Why person was, has worked their ass off, right? And they pretty much gave up those those younger years of their life you while do. they were studying, they Absolutely. were committed, then they work, they build their empire, they buy every fucking thing that they need to be bait, you know, to bait the girls in. Yep. And it's like, okay, but well, I don't want the bitches that are my age right now. I'm not gonna lie, but that's usually how it is. So they want what they, you know. <laughs> Thanks. That the things that, that were That's cool, but if you're gonna do that, why get in a relationship? Just be single and live your best life. Mm -hmm. We need something to fall back well, on, too. Well, he's an experience. That's an experience. <laughs> like, like, yo, what, what man, they're doing he's is... chasing the, the lifestyle that he never got he to is, have. But what you're doing is you're dating younger women, and you're you're kind of, like, ruining, yeah, for... damaging them at a young mm. age. So, so now when we get to our 30s, we're completely damaged by older yep. men, and now we don't want y'all, and y'all don't want us. The man is 40, 45, let's say, mm -hmm. right? I get it, but Now he, he has his money, his house, <laughs> now, now he got time, right? He has time to go live his best life. Now he wants to date younger woman, right? Okay. Let's say a 21-year-old. Now he dates her for four years. While he's dating her, he's cheating with other 19, 20, 25-year-olds. You're damaging this young girl. Right? You're causing trauma and damage that's gonna cost her pretty much years to heal. Mm -hmm. Right? Now we get, fast forward years later, she's 30. Right? She's damaged. All because a 40 year old wants to be living his best life after he built his himself. Okay. Now you damaged the girl at 21, she's 26, you and left her for the, <laughs> the younger woman now, right? Now we're trying to date people our age. Now we're looking at y'all like, y'all ain't got your damn shit together and we don't want y'all. But now, this is where it gets hard. Now we older, and now we are, let's say, 30 now. We no longer attract the same type of man. We no longer attract the same amount of men. So now we end up alone, or with trash, or with whatever is available. And honestly, what's really available out there, it's, it's burnt out. <laughs> And this You're is, done. Nobody wants y'all. And this is well. First, I want to let's start off by saying it's not his fault, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, hold on. Wait, come, wait, wait. Because a guy can't. Look, I want every woman to understand. No guy can have sex with you if you don't allow it. Um, men can manipulate young women all the that's time. Surprise, that's, that's what surprise. they do. Okay. Yeah, do that Both shit. And it's easier. Blame, and men better. love Yo, younger women we for love, that reason. We love. But you gotta know what you're signing up for too, as a young. Thank but as a young woman, we don't be knowing shit. Yes, you do. Wait. Yo, wait. Time out. So it's his fault. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Stop. Like, and that's the thing. Thank you, Linda. And we got to take... That's the thing. We got to take... Not accountability. Accountability. <laughs> no, for what we're... Do. Yeah, for... Well, Guys. here's the thing. Here's my, here's my thing, right? I focus on the cause and the effect. The effect is her, you know, later on down the line. But mm -hmm. the cause is her wanting to experience this so so much that she thinks that she's different. When right now, I say maybe back in the day, it might be different. Right now, you have 100 podcasters, and I see them all the time, yeah. telling you don't date older, older men. This is their intentions. And they still go out and do it. I know women tell other women, hey, listen, he's not good for you. He's 20 years older than you. Yeah, you're living this life. It's not going to last. So now when you are ignoring everybody outside of you because you want to go ahead and experience this lifestyle, it is partly your fault. And if, and here's my thing. Okay. If no younger woman, if all the younger women in the world or America or whatever decide to say, hey, listen, we're not dating a man over eight years older, uh, older than us, mm -hmm. guess what? All them 40-year-old people will be asked out. And all those 40-year-old men will have no choice but to date people in their age bracket. And there'll be a less tra trauma for women. There'll be a less of that cycle going on and on and on. So I'm like, who really has the has real, the who's the gatekeeper of this? Listen, it's, it's all about sales. It's wait, 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 all no, no. about sales, okay? Well, then don't if cry. you have the ability to, there's some people that can sell anything, right? Mm -hmm. If you have the ability to 
to sell something to someone, they're gonna take it. They're gonna want it. They're gonna feel you. Have you ever walked into a place and 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 been like, oh, I'm just looking around, and then next thing you know, motherfucker got you buying flat irons, mm-hmm. cosmetics, all types of shit that Home you goods. don't need. <laughs> That's literally how it is in relationships too. You're gonna come up to me looking good, smelling good. Your car's nice. Your crib's nice. Mm-hmm. You fucking feel it. Like you you got your shit together. You can probably teach me something. I need to get my right. shit together. And you think that I'm not gonna take it and I'm not gonna fall madly in love with you? Oh, this is the thing. I think that. That as an older person dealing with a younger person, I think that no, I was you understand before. like that there's some level of responsibility you have in dealing with a younger person. The younger person has less life experiences. Yep. They have, I mean, likely less education in whatever it is they're doing. They have, they have less money. They have less opportunity, so on and so forth. So I think that you have an upper hand. And it sort mm-hmm. of puts that the younger person in a in a a lesser position. So you're able to exert your power. You're able to exert your your money, X, Y, and Z. So while both parties are at fault, let's let's be real. Like you're somewhat taking advantage, yes, of, you're taking of, advantage. of the younger person. 